So it became like a two headed fire. If you so ask Kerry Richardson here, how he's doing today, he'll tell you partly shocked, mostly happy. I still have a home and there are many people around here that do not. Saturday night, as the wall fire seemingly erupted from what appeared to be a calm state, Kerry looked on. I could see the flames building up behind the hill and you could hear the roar, the, like locomotive sound, and it got louder and louder and louder. Once Kerry made eye contact with the flames, he chose to leave with little time to get out. It's easy to, to say I'll uh, just evacuate, but you know, when your whole life is here, you, you think about it. While Kerry returns home relieved, he knows it's not the same story for his son, daughter-in-law, and grandchildren. Cal Fire says 17 structures have been brought down so far in the wall fire, and this mobile home is one of them. It's a mobile home that belongs to Kerry's son. Of course, they're saddened, but glad they're safe and alive, but they, they left with the clothes on their back. Cal Fire says the fire is 35% contained as they focus their efforts on finding and putting out hot spots. We're hoping to complete mop up and put out all the smokes near the fire line and prepare the area so that uh, the public can get back into their houses. When that might happen isn't yet clear. For those lucky enough to have a home to come back to, it's an amazing feeling, especially when you get to meet the firefighters who saved it. Thanks again, man. Forever in your debt.